Let's get rocking! It's time for the Metal Groove. We're fighters for truth, justice, and the American way. A podcast dedicated to music. Party on, dude! Extreme close up! Here's your metal host. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Tombstone Josh. I'm your Huckleberry. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome into a brand new episode of the Metal Groove Podcast. And I am honored and privileged to welcome to the show a member of an awesome band from across the pond. This band was introduced to me by friends of the show, White Tiger. So first of all, shout out White Tiger for telling me about these guys. And um, I've just had a blast listening to their songs. And, and joining me on the show is a member of that band. The band is called Kinsey. His name is Dave. What is up, dude? Safe, dude. How we doing? <laughs> I'm awesome, man. I'm awesome. I, I like I was telling you before we started talk, um, before we logged on here. I love the Halloween decorations you got going on in the background. Um, where exactly are you over there? So we are just down the road from White Tiger. We are in mm-hmm. the beautiful Black Country. Nice, nice. I saw, I um, whenever I was going through the profile for the band, I saw metal, and then I saw slash Black Country. I was like, what in the world does Black Country mean? I didn't know if that was a genre of music over there. No, so um, <laughs> where, where, where we're from was very industrial, and due to the... Um, the smoke in the sky, yeah. for all in the whole area that is known as the Black Country. Gotcha, man. That's cool, man. Sounds good to me. Um, we're not fans of country music on this show, so I'm glad you're not country music related. I'm just messing. <laughs> no, we're we we're, we're definitely not country. Yes, definitely not. You guys are heavy. You guys are brutal, and I'm excited to learn about the band. So first things first, um, tell us a little about a little bit about yourself and your background with music. So my name's Dave, as you said. Um, mm-hmm. I've been around on my local scene now since 2010, uh, doing it constantly for seven years. And after that, I had a little break, uh, started a family. Um, then a couple of friends of mine decided that they wanted to start a band. Originally, I <laughs> said no, because I didn't want, <laughs> I didn't really want the hassle to do it again. <laughs> But the, he told me who was going to be the members of the band, and I've known those guys for all of those guys for ten years plus. So nice. it was a no-brainer for me. So, um, and one day I'm going to let them know if I join or not. I'm still keeping them on their toes. It's been three years. I might let them know after five. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. You guys seem to be on the uptick, though. I seen you guys played the Bloodstock Festival. Saw some great videos about that over there. But for um for somebody not familiar with you guys, how would you describe your sound? So we describe ourselves as raw brutality. What mm-hmm. you see is what you get. So we're big, heavy melodeath riffs, along with big sing-along metalcore choruses. That's mm-hmm. what we grew up listening to, and that's what we want to provide to our audience. Nice, man. So who are some of those influences you talk about that you used to listen to? So uh, it varies in the bands, but um, some of the some of the familiar ones. So we have like bands like In Flames, Dark mm-hmm. Tranquility, Kilston Gage, Trivium, yeah. nice. just just the the big players from back in the day. God forbid as well. Can't forget God forbid. Yeah, cool man. Great. Yeah, great influences right there. Is that something you've always listened to, or, or has your music progressed over the years? So, yeah, like, I've always been a little baby metalhead at heart. Um, <laughs> I love other things, though. We like to delve deeper into it. We all, we all have a varied um, taste in music. So, like, I'm really into, like, um, some of the gothy bands like him, Typo Negative, stuff like that. Um, Matt's very much into, like, the, ba- the Black Dahlia murder, some of the more That's heavier great, things. Man. Yeah. yeah, and um, Inky's into more um, our bass player. He's into a lot of the um, like Sleep Token and Bill Murray and stuff like that. So we've got a very eclectic taste as a band. That's cool. And does that do, do those different influences influence the the way you guys write songs, or how does that come together for you guys? Oh, um, so Matt. Is the king of our writing, to be honest. So he, he'll he um, write the majority of the track. 
Uh, we'll take it into the studio, rehearse it. Anything that needs changing can be changed. Then when it's ready and being rehearsed, then I can go back and write lyrics for it. And then, um, yeah, that's how we that's how, that's how we complete a song. That's cool, man. That's cool. So, um, so growing up, what did you listen to, and then who influenced, um, the way you do what you do, as far as maybe like, um, what you bring to the songs or anything like that? So, um, growing up. Uh, I discovered metal quite late, to be honest. It was in my college years. So, um, yeah. obviously, I listened to what everyone listens to for the first time. So, a lot of Slipknot, <laughs> a lot of, and obviously, with the UK scene over here as well. So, a lot of like Bullet for My Valentine. Right on. You know what I mean? So, that was a big part for me growing up. And then, uh, obviously, I listened to a lot of Kill Gage as well. Like, I love yeah. Jesse Leach, so he provides a lot of emotion when he when he when he screams. So that's all what something what I've always wanted to bring. At the end of the day, I could uh, I could just scream bullshit for half an hour, <laughs> or I could provide a bit of heart into it and a bit of emotion yeah. and make people yeah. connect with it. Definitely. That's cool, man. I noticed also when I was going through the uh, through the list because I couldn't find you guys on Amazon, but I, I was able to dive into the uh, YouTube. Um, the music videos are awesome, man. So uh, the song that we're gonna be playing at the end of this episode is called Paralysis, but I saw a lot of good videos on there. Who does? How do you guys come together for that? So we've been working with a very talented uh, videographer who just down the road from us called uh, Ironside Studio. So I just want to give him a shout out if that's yeah. okay. Um, Definitely. We met the guy on our Metal to the Masses journey, which in, which uh, allowed us to play Bloodstock. And mm -hmm. he, we got to know him, became friends with him. He was doing some live video stuff for us. And then we thought, you know what, if we're going to go do a, a new music video, he's got great equipment and he's really good, well-priced as well. So, yeah. uh, and, he's, and he's a friend of the band, so we, we just Sweet. like to look after our own. So um, we got together with him and we shot the music video. That's cool, man. Yeah, they, they came out really good. I like the way there's a lot of a lot of darkness behind it. There's also some creepy elements to a lot of them. So, I mean, I feel like it fits the songs perfectly. Yeah. Well, yeah, we've um, obviously we've got the lyric videos as well. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, Prowse is the first music video. And fingers crossed. Next year, we shall be seeing another one. Nice, man. Nice. That's cool. Um, so after Bloodstock Festival, how how was the reception to you guys? And has that bridged to other things for you? It was – Bloodstock was absolutely amazing. I'm a Bloodstock veteran myself. I've been – I was attending the festival for many years up until mm -hmm. 2019 was my last one. So it was just nice to be back home again. And um, – so we we were playing on the Sunday of the festival, so it gave us a whole weekend of going out, meeting everyone, just promoting ourselves, putting up stickers everywhere, telling everyone where we're playing, and <laughs> we're just yeah. really happy that that worked out for us. And the tent was absolutely rammed. That's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah, I um I saw it, like I told you earlier, I seen a lot of videos from it. it looked like a really great time uh, for somebody that oh, hasn't seen you guys live. Yeah, for somebody that hasn't seen your your live show, how would you describe how would you describe a live show with you guys? So we just like to create a sound space for everyone to have a good time. At the end of the day, you mm. come to a Kensai show, you are part of the family. We like to label our fans as the Kai Army because that's what we are. We're a unison, nice. and that's what we like to bring to our shows. <laughs> At the end of the day, I what 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 we are on stage is what we are off stage. We're just nice people. We like to get yeah. out there, meet everyone. I literally say at the end of every show, I want to meet everyone in the room, whether there's 10 people or 10 million people in there. I want to meet everyone <laughs> in that in that show because it because it means That's so awesome. much to us. Because we we've been on the scene for many years and the scenes give us quite a lot. So we just want to give back to it. Yeah, you can you can sense that in the way you guys play and the way you guys perform on stage is that you're appreciative of not only the uh, the opportunity to be playing music together, but to be sharing your music with, with the masses, which is awesome, man. That's kind of what drew me into you guys. Well, so, um, it, man, at the end of the day, we've got such a good relationship off stage. We're literally yeah. five brothers. So that yeah. just translates live. So 
That's cool, man. So uh, what is um, what is in the near future for you guys, and what is the goal you hope to hit later on? So coming up for us, we've got a couple of gigs to the end of the year back in England. Uh, we've got a couple of hometown shows just before Christmas. Nice. Then we are going to delve back into the studio, try and get some more tracks recorded. We're going to get <laughs> some tracks remastered as well for a release as well. Um, mm -hmm. Pulling ourselves together, just trying to get another music video under our belts. And cool. then um, 2025 is when we're going to start hitting the scene hard. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. Nice. That's cool. I um I noticed a lot of bands are doing the singles thing. Is that something you guys are trying to do as well? Or how do you guys feel about putting together a whole album? So yeah, we've um we've currently released a bunch of singles. So I think our next mm -hmm. uh, train of thought is to get um our tracks remastered, get some new tracks as well, bring everything yeah. together and then um release it as a full length release because Obviously, the only thing we haven't got at the moment is that album to, to give out to people. I, I know a lot yeah. of people stream at the moment, but it'd be nice yeah. for something to people for people to hold in their hands and say, This is this is mine, you know what I mean? Yeah, that physical media. Some people still collect that and some people still appreciate it. Um exactly. So cool, man, that's great. I look forward to seeing if we're gonna do something like that, I wanna throw everything into it and make it make it yeah. that's Someone wants to buy it. Yeah, definitely, man. I, so I, I look forward to ever seeing everything that you guys have coming up in the future. Um, I have some random questions to ask you as we wrap up here, and then we'll dive into the song, and we'll talk it about uh, wherever I can keep in touch with you guys. But um, if you, what's the, what's the best band you've ever seen live? Oh, my word. Um, <laughs> oh, my God, that's a hard one. Prince yeah. in 2014 was a good one. Wow. What a big, massive yeah. Prince fan. Um, <laughs> saw Vil Valo last year. He was amazing okay. from him. And uh, maybe The Darkness as well. The Darkness, the first time I saw them, it the was darkness. absolutely insane. Nice. And if you want, if you want to throw a metal band in there as well, we'll we'll put Kilsch in there as well. Then just a bit, yes. just a bit, just to, just to be metal. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. Um, all right. If you could go on tour with any, you know what I want more than anything. Now that I've talked to you and um, I've had you on the show, there's nothing I want more than a White Tiger and Kinsey show, a tour over here in the states. So White Tiger aside, because you guys wouldn't, I don't know how that would go on stage with you two guys because you're so. We've different act, sound we've actually, wise we've actually played a festival with white tiger the ones but we were separate stages the end of the day those boys are our boys so yes if it, if it happens we'd make it happen <laughs> that's cool um but who if you could go on tour with anyone say it was like a, a worldwide tour uh with you guys featured who who would you want to be on the bill with such a hard question <laughs> just just every band from Gothenburg ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, ma oh, just massive into that sort of melodic death metal hypocrisy. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Um, Carcass. Oh, just all the bands. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, man. That's a good call. Um, outside of music, what other things are you interested in? Um, I'm into gaming, spending time with my family, uh, yeah. just going out, having a good time. That's cool, man. That's cool. Too, I, old, have you ever... too, old, too old to party now. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. We, have, we... You ever, have you ever been over here to the States? I haven't, no. All oh, I man. wanted to visit. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I've only been to the UK once. It was a great time. Um, what, what are some things you love about your hometown? Just my heritage, really. Like, uh, yeah. this is where I was brought up and raised. It's nice to be in our local uh -huh. area. Plus, orange chips. Sorry. Oh, so orange chips. We, 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 so orange fries. Sorry, I'm just trying to translate. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is an orange? What, what is that? So, um, so they're basically fries, but battered and deep fried. Oh, orange, man. Orange fries. That sounds amazing. But down here, it, in the, it, I'm in the it, south. You can, you can only get into the black country. You can't get it anywhere else in the UK. 
I love anything deep fried. I'm a fan of. No kidding, man. I promise. <laughs> um. All right. So the song we're ending the show with, and I, I'm greatly appreciative that you hung out with me and that that you were on the show, and we could we could represent. Because anytime I can have a band from across from another part of the world, I'm so appreciative. I love that. Um, tell right. us a little bit about this song called Paralysis. And it, first of all, anytime, my man, it's been lovely to chat with you as well, and I'm glad I Thanks. finally got to meet you at last. Yes. <laughs> so Paralysis is a lovely little tile. Um, it's about loving someone. Sorry, someone mm. loving you, but you not really loving them back. Ah, so, okay. So trying Twist to distance tail. yourself from someone, not being exactly all there in the head. And gotcha. uh, not not really feeling anything, being a bit paralyzed, basically. I got you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I get you. It's a great song, man. It's heavy. I, I mean, I feel like every song on there is just brutal. Every one I've gone through is just brutal. It's upbeat. It's high tempo. Is that the vein that you guys like to stay in? Or do you see you guys kind of uh, switching the genre a little bit or, or trying different things? Um, at the end of the day, like I said, we're all open. If um, mm. we've got, we're writing a new track at the moment. We re- well, we're currently rehearsing two tracks. One is quite a soft metalcore track, and the nice. other one is brutal Satan worshiping death metal. So, <laughs> right on, man. <laughs> Cover all feeling? the bases. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> there we go. Sweet from from from, yeah. from Jesus to Satan. <laughs> all spectrums no spectrums off the table um tell Nothing everybody where they can keep up with what you guys have going on um tell everybody where they can find you where they can find the songs just anywhere somebody needs to stay in touch with you guys so you can find us on facebook at kensai band it's the same url for uh, instagram as well we're on tiktok spotify is a good one to keep in touch with us um yeah, yeah just keeping an on on the socials yeah and uh, any time, if anyone fancies dropping us a message just for a chat, just to say hello, we'll answer every message. Yeah, super kind, super friendly, awesome dude to talk to. Um, I've, I've touched on the Halloween decorations in the background, so I got to ask you, um, we're a big fan of Halloween. What's your what's your go-to Halloween movie you have to watch every year? Either Hellraiser 2. What? Evil nice. De- Evil Dead. Um, or Army of Darkness for a bit of fun as well. <laughs> I got you. Man. I um, there's a um, okay, never mind. I'm not gonna bring it up because it'll it'll spin me down another tail. We're gonna have you back on the show eventually, and we'll bring up more horror stuff. Um, but I did find out you're a family man. You're a dad. Um, or, or is a family dressing up for Halloween? Yes, we'll we'll all uh, my kids will be dressing up. Yes, my uh, my daughter's a Halloween unicorn. Nice. And uh, we're still, my son's still deciding what he wants to be. So he'll probably, <laughs> he'll probably make his mind up on Halloween. <laughs> it's a tough decision, man. It's a tough decision. And I appreciate you for being a musician, being a dad, being a good dude. Um, thank you so much for joining me, man. This was a good time. Mate, it's been absolutely amazing. And we will chat soon. This will not be the last time. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. I always like to end every show by saying, stay metal. Stay metal. There we go. That's how we'll end it. I'll cut it right there, man. Um, I appreciate you. I'll stay in touch. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for making time. And uh, you guys are awesome.
Hey, that's the show for this week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And join us here at the Thrill Me Podcast Network where you can check out phenomenal shows like Haunter's Podcast, The Review of Rob Show, The Mr. Wonderful Show, and Core Memory Unlocked. We greatly appreciate you. And until next time, stay metal.